How you doing guys? This is Eric from RuleTheWasteland.com. This video is about the way in which I'm storing water for myself for preparedness purposes out here in Las Vegas, which is definitely a desert area. There's not a lot of rain, not a lot of natural water sources, so it's even more important to have a good source of drinking water. And not just for drinking, you need water for your pets for drinking, for cleaning dishes, for washing clothes, for watering any sort of plants that you may have. I don't really have any out here, but it's certainly something that could be a consideration pretty much everything that you need showering if you want to do any actual bathing you're going to need a little bit of water so storing water is a pretty important thing especially in an area like this where there isn't a lot of ways to get water other than turning the faucet and if that ever is disrupted which happens all the time we're seeing mexico city even i think it is right now is potentially going to have a large portion of their population have to do without water for a few weeks same with South Africa, we're seeing big disruptions, so it's definitely something that can happen. And when you're in an area like this that is very dry naturally, you want to make doubly sure that you have uh, precautions taken to have extra water. So, there's a lot of different things you can do. What I do is just, you have to store the water some way, obviously. What I like to do is larger containers, like the IBC totes or barrels, if you don't have some way like a pool to store it an incredibly large amount, then you're going to have to get the containers themselves. I do have some of these, which I store inside, and between those cans and a bunch of empty two liters that I've filled up as a backup water source, I have probably 20 to 25 gallons stored inside. And then I finally recently took care of my major water storage, at least to a decent amount, with um, five 55 gallon drums. I Ideally, would like to have even more water than this, but it is good enough. Combined with the water that we have inside, that's about 300 gallons. That's enough for about a gallon and a half a day for six months. Six months, which, as I've said before, my plan is to be prepared for six months. Food, water, everything I need. So it's not a whole lot when you factor in stuff like washing clothes, cooking, feeding the animals, but it is doable. Certainly enough, at least for drinking and probably for cooking. And... Um, you know, other stuff you can make do. There, there's other ways to wash your body. You can get wipes. You don't have to use a lot of water, things like that. You would at least survive. So I'd like to add more water in the future, and I probably will, but for the time being, at least I've taken care of the ability to drink and have enough water to survive for six months. These 55-gallon drums I got, they have to be food-grade drums, and it's much easier if you get things that had... Um, nothing obviously no chemicals or anything and it's something food grade some sort of food or anything in the barrels much easier to clean and much safer that way and you can get different sizes too i like these sizes because they're fairly large but not insanely big and they, they're fairly ubiquitous sizing so you can usually find them pretty cheap these do just have the the small top not the entire lid that opens so you will have to have a hose or some siphon hose or some way to get the water out of there and they have the the bung wrench things which you can get a wrench which I recommend getting the metal ones or you can simply use anything flat that will fit in between those marks and there's two different thread sizes one hole is, is small threaded and one is fairly coarse threaded so if, if you're having trouble putting a lid back on just make sure that there uh, you've got the right lid see how those are different My faucet was actually fairly far distance away from where I wanted the barrels to be. And I'm not moving those things when they're full. They're 400-something pounds. So I got this adapter to be able to connect two hoses together. And the good thing about this one is it has a valve on it, too, so that I don't have to go all the way to the outer faucet to turn the water on and off when I'm filling the buckets. Turn it on once, and then I can control the flow at this junction of the two hoses much closer to where I'm actually filling the barrel. So I recommend getting one of these. I'll have the link in the description to where you can pick up that particular junction that I got. And you don't have to put uh, bleach in these barrels. I've mentioned that before. It's it, it can help, you know, this water that's coming out of the faucet's already treated. So it's not a big deal. If you're going to leave it in there for a long period of time, it certainly can't hurt, especially if you're in like a more translucent container like this IBC totes or a more clear bucket where you think there might be a problem with algae growth or sunlight. I would try to cover those buckets to begin with, but if not, sure, go ahead and put the chlorine in there. No, it can't really hurt, but it's not really necessary because I recommend filtering or treating the water when you get it out anyway, if it's been a significant amount of time, you know, years or whatever, regardless of whether you put bleach or anything in there. So not a huge concern, but eight drops per gallon of the, uh, I believe it's 
solution. Bleach, make sure it isn't scented, just a pure bleach. Takes a while to fill up these, so you can just chill out while you're doing it. But all in all, like I said, these five uh, buckets, 275 gallons, decent amount. These barrels are about 40 bucks a piece, so not a big deal. And it'll take care of you for a pretty decent chunk of time. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think, what your water storage plans are, if you're in a place that has a lot of natural water, or if you have to resort to some kind of storing method like this and what you've chosen to do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.